And there you with the NDTV and Maha Siddiqui. Our top story, are the central agencies being used as a tool to harass the opposition? This is an allegation by the increasing number of leaders, mostly from opposition parties who are under the CBI or the ED scanner. Let's break down the numbers now to give you a sense of the exact figures and facts as they exist. NDTV's Mariam Alvi has collected and collated data on agencies' action over the last eight years in the Modi government in New York so far. The analysis reveals that there has been a 365% jump in the political rates in the last eight years. Mariam, break down those, that data for us. So NDTV had compiled this first of its kind catalog last year where we looked at any and all coercive action like registering of cases, questioning, raids, filing of charge sheets, arrests, etc. by law enforcement and investigative agencies under the central government including the CBI, the Enforcement Directorate, the Income Tax Department, the Delhi Police, and also the centrally run Jammu and Kashmir Administration. This has been regularly updated, even though it was compiled for the first time last year, and currently catalogues all such action until July 2022. Before we get into the staggering results, I think, Maha, it's very important to let our viewers know that despite our best efforts, this may not be an exhaustive list. And it is also important to note that we are not commenting on the merits of these cases. We are simply trying to quantify what has been shared anecdotally before. Are central agencies being used or misused to target different forms of opposition? So now what did our analysis find? Our analysis found that since the Modi government first came into power in May 2014 and until July 2022, action has been taken against 648 people who are seen as the BJP's political and ideological rivals. Most of these, about 466 of the 648, are the BJP's political rivals, their relatives or their aides. We also found that there has been a massive jump, a 365% jump in such action since the Modi government came to power compared to similar action under the UPA2 government. We will take you through those numbers in more detail shortly. Uh, but it's important to note that it's not just politicians who have been targeted. Critics and ideological rivals who have also borne the brunt. Media who are seen as independent or critical of the government are targeted. Like Dainik Bhaskar and the Bharat Samachar who had covered the devastation of the second wave extensively. Or more recently, the arrest of Zubair of Alt News. Activists like Sudha Bardwaj and others in the Bhima Koregao case or Harsh Mandar are on the list. Critics like Amnesty India, Anurag Kapshyap are all on the list. And even bureaucrats who have questioned the government or seen as close to the opposition were also targeted. Let's not forget the tax cases against Election Commissioner Ashok Lavasa's family members after he had disagreed with the clean chits given to Modi and Shah during the 2019 elections. Now, the problem here is that the Modi government does not seem to go after their own in the same way or with the same fervor. While 648 of the BJP's rivals and opponents have seen some coercive action, similar action was meted out only to 48 of the BJP's own members or their allies. In fact, total politicians, their relatives and associates targeted between May 2014 and July 2022 were 514. Of these, 91% were the BJP's political rivals, while only a measly 48 or 9% were the BJP's own members or their allies. But governments using agencies against critics is not necessarily new. Let's not forget that it was during the UPA2 regime that the Supreme Court had famously called the CBI a caged parrot. The question here, however, is has there been an increase of such action under the BJP governments? Now, if we look at the numbers, we see that under the Modi governments between May 2014 and July 2022, there has been action against 79 critics on average every year. Under the UPA2 government, this number was much lower at about 17 on average a year. This is a whopping 365% jump. Virtually everybody from the Abdullahs and Muftis in Jammu and Kashmir to M.K. Stalin and his family in Tamil Nadu, almost every political rival is on the list. But amongst the politicians, Congress has taken the largest hit. 80 of their members were targeted, including an IT notice to the Congress party itself. 
Mamta Banerjee's Trinamool Congress, which has now emerged as one of the most vocal opponents of the BJP, is a distant second. 41 of their members were targeted, including investigations by the Enforcement Directorate, the CBI and even the Income Tax Department into the funds received by the party itself. Then we have Mehbooba Mufti's PDP in Jammu and Kashmir with 21 members targeted and then Ar Arvind Kejriwal's AAP with 19 of their members. All right, that is in, indeed a staggering figure of uh, a whopping 365% jump in the number of cases uh, under the CBI, especially with regards to political rivals of the BJP, as has been alleged by uh, the opposition already. Maria, many thanks for joining us uh, with all those inputs and the number crunching there. Let me now go across uh, to our guests who are joining us on the show uh, to answer that question, raid to aid the centre let me go across to Ghansham Tiwari, spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party and Ashant Prakash Jatav, leader of BJP from Uttar Pradesh. First to you, Ashant Prakash Jatav ji. Aarop bar bar lagaya jata hai opposition parties ke dwara ki jo center hai, jo BJP hai, wo agencies ko ek tool, ek hathiyar ki tarah istamal kar rahi hai. Aur ab jo figures saamne aai hai, usme ye dikhta hai ki बहुत एक बड़ा फिगर है, बड़ा नंबर है ओपोजिशन लीडर्स का जिनके खिलाफ सीबीआई और ईडी की कार्रवाई हो रही है, लेकिन उत्ते सारे आपकी पार्टी से नहीं है, तो सवाल फिर खड़े हो रहे हैं कि क्या ये सेलेक्टिव काम कर रही है एजेंसी? ये एजेंसी भ्रष्टाचार पकड़ने के लिए बनाई गई हैं। और मैं आपके चैनल का धन्यवाद देना चाहूँगा कि आपने उजागर किया कि आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी उन सभी भ्रष्टाचारियों को पकड़ रही है पकड़ने में इस वक्त जो एजेंसीज काम कर रही हैं उनको पूरी स्वतंत्रता है और आपने बहुत अच्छे आंकड़े इस वक्त पेश किए कि यूपीए के टाइम में भ्रष्टाचारी जो थे वो आराम से भ्रष्टाचार कर रहे थे मगर इस वक्त में उन भ्रष्टाचारियों पर नकेल पड़ी हुई है एजेंसीज उनका काम ही भ्रष्टाचारियों को दिखा है और वो बेहतर काम कर रही हैं और आपके चैनल के माध्यम से उनको एक आज जो आपने कंपैरिजन दिया है ये आज देश के सामने आया इसमें मैं समझता हूँ कि देश का जो आवाम तो, है वो खुश भी अपोजिशन ये लगा रहा है कि ये झूठे केसेज है उनके खिलाफ नहीं झूठे केसेस हैं तो बरी हो जाएंगे क्यों परेशान हो रहे हैं लेकिन हरासमेंट है वो कह रहे हरासमेंट है वो जेलों में भी हैं आप देखें ना अभी आपने अरविंद केजरीवाल जी का भी जिक्र किया तो उनके तमाम जो विधायक हैं मंत्री हैं वो जेल में हैं कांग्रेस के तमाम लेकिन मनीष सिसोदिया जी ए, एक जल्दी से सवाल ले लेते हैं घनश्याम तिवारी से फिर आपके पास वापस आएंगे घनश्याम तिवारी यू जस्ट हर्ट चांद प्रकाश जाटव देर ही सेइंग दैट दिस इज नथिंग बट व्हाट द बीजेपी हैड प्रॉमिस्ड ना खाऊंगा ना खाने दूंगा दिस वाज अ स्लोगन बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड दे आर ट्राइंग टू स्टॉप दोस हु आर करप्ट गुड इवनिंग महा टू यू द व्यूअर्स एंड द को पैनलिस्ट दिस इज नथिंग व्हाट द व्हाट द आरएसएस प्रॉमिसेस a dictatorial form of India where democracy is always in danger and institutions are misused to target people. A headline by uh, uh, in the press, based on a report by Association for Democratic Re uh, Reforms, read 363 sitting MLAs and MPs have criminal cases against them. BJP tops the list with 83. State after state, you cannot, Shant Prakash Jatav will not be able to name a single state where BJP is not the top ranker in fielding criminals or people with criminal charges as candidates, whether it is for members of parliament or for uh, the state elections. It tops in fracturing governments, it tops in, in uh, claims, in allegations about buying MLAs. And not only that, on top of it, look at this case, this uh, situation that has been presented in Indian Express. You have presented it. The Minister of State for Home in India. It is a shame that he has uh, a, a criminal case of murder against him that has been pending over 20 years. His son has been accused of of uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, creating a creating a, a massacre of farmers by running his his jeep over them. So uh, this is the state of Bharatiya Party where criminals are our top top ministers 
they are uh, they are our top MLAs, top MPs of the ruling party. And but Ganesham Tiwari, can I come in? Can I Ganesham Tiwari, the fact, the points that you are raising uh, uh, about uh, the BJP not going after its own people doesn't exonerate uh, uh, those from the opposition that it is uh, the agencies are running after. Uh, do they have a fair argument to say that they are being harassed? Well, if the top criminals are fielded by Bharti Janata Party and their ministers, MPs, MLAs rank as top criminals, then who is the police and who is the thief? And who is going after whom? You think about Ajay Mishra Taini, charge of, charges of murder, Kesha Prasad Maurya, Yogi Adityanath. It is difficult in India to figure out whether criminals are ruling the country or leaders are ruling the country. Let Shant Prakash Jatav respond to that. आरोप शांत प्रकाश जाटव जी इन्होंने दो एग्जांपल आपको दिए आरोप ये भी लगाया जाता है कि जो बीजेपी में आ जाता है उस वो एक तरह की वॉशिंग मशीन से निकल जाता है बिल्कुल आ, साफ हो जाता है और उसमें वो आ, काफी शुभेंदु अधिकारी का नाम देते हैं और भी लीडर्स का नाम देते हैं जिन्होंने बीजेपी ज्वाइन की और फिर उनके केसेस नहीं खुले देखिये घनश्याम जी ने जो बातें कही वो कहीं भी भ्रष्टाचार से लिंकअप नहीं है कुछ भी नाम ले देना इस प्रकार से आप जिस पार्टी के इस वक्त प्रवक्ता के रूप में बैठे हैं उसके मुखिया भी जो है आय से अधिक संपत्ति के मामले में जो है लंबित हैं तो बेसिकली क्या है कि हम इस वक्त बात भ्रष्टाचार की कर रहे हैं और भ्रष्टाचार को जांचने वाली एजेंसियाँ बेहतरीन काम कर रही हैं अच्छे परिणाम दे रही हैं हमें उसको अप्रिशिएट करना चाहिए और ये देश जो है किसी भी सूरत में भ्रष्टाचार को स्वीकार नहीं करेगा जिस वक्त हम सरकार में आए पूरे देश में भ्रष्टाचार से लड़ने की ही मुहिम चली हुई थी और आज मोदी सरकार जो है उसी मुहिम पर काम कर रही है सभी एजेंसियां अपना बेहतरीन काम कर रही हैं जो लोग ये बोल रहे हैं कि हम पाक साफ हैं ठीक है आप पाक साफ हैं जाँच के बाद में आप बच जाएंगे परेशान हो आरोप सिर्फ यहाँ नहीं खत्म होता है कि एजेंसीज का मिसयूज हो रहा है हरास करने के लिए ये तो यहाँ तक आरोप लगाते हैं कि एक तरह से ईडी और सीबीआई को यूज किया जा रहा है लीडर्स को डराने के लिए ताकि सत्ता पलट हो सके स्टेट्स में उन स्टेट्स में जहाँ की बीजेपी की सत्ता नहीं है और ये महाराष्ट्र का एग्जाम्पल साइड करते हैं कहते हैं कि वहां पर लीडर्स को डराया गया शिवसेना के ताकि वो दूसरे तरफ चले जाए और बीजेपी की सरकार बन जाए देखिए महाराष्ट्र में महाराष्ट्र की जो जनता है उसने कहा कि हमने जो चुनाव जो तुम्हें जिताया है वो भाजपा के साथ में उसकी कार्यशैली के साथ में उसके उससे प्रभावित होकर के जिताया अगर तुम दोबारा कंस्टिट्यूंसी में आओगे तो तुम्हारा हाल बुरा होगा इस कारण से वो जो सब हमारे साथ में दोबारा जुड़े हैं वो इस कारण से जुड़े हैं क्योंकि उनको जाकर के दोबारा अपनी कंस्टिट्यूंसी में वोट लेना है और जितने भी विधायक भारतीय जनता पार्टी के साथ जुड़े वो ईडी से नहीं बल्कि जो पॉलिसी जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी की थी उससे प्रभावित होकर के जुड़े हैं। घनश्याम तिवारी यू वांट टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल शांत प्रकाश जाटव इज सेइंग दैट इफ दीज पीपल आर इनोसेंट दो आर अंडर द ईडी और सीबीआई स्कैनर सो टू स्पीक इफ दे आर इनोसेंट एंड दे विल बी एग्जोनरेटेड और देर बी नो केस दैट विल अल्टीमेटली मिटीरियलाइज अगेंस्ट दैम सो वाई द कंसर्न There are two things Shyam Prasad, Prasad Jatavji said. One, that don't count, don't worry about criminals ruling India, whether they are murderers, rapists, decoys, people with hate speech. That is not. That's a secondary problem. That don't accuse BJP of that. That is now part and parcel of who BJP is. But talk about corruption. Let's talk about corruption. In May 2022, the to the headline uh, uh, across the country was MLA claims that he was offered CM's post for rupees 2,000. दो हजार पांच सौ करोड़ क्या चैरिटी का पैसा था भारतीय जनता पार्टी की आय जो हर दो साल में डबल हो जाती है क्या चैरिटी का पैसा है जिसके पूंजीपतियों की आय जो दुनिया में सबसे अमीर बनने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं आठ साल में आठ बीस गुना हो गई है ये चैरिटी का पैसा पैसा है या कर्नाटक में महाराष्ट्र में गोवा में जहां जहां इन्होंने सरकारें बनाई और उसमें जो एलिगेशन आया पांच करोड़ पचास खोखे ये क्या चैरिटी का पैसा था तो राइट नाउ वी आर इन अचुएशन Where BJP does not believe in any kind of morality, it it is using all the power at its might, whether it is criminal power or sarkari power, to to dismantle, defeat, and demoralize democracy in the country. Whether it is journalists, whether it is politicians, 
whether it is bureaucrats, whether it is raiding CPI itself in midnight, they, they, or whether it is a uh, former election commissioner, they have, or the judges, or the Pegasus, they, will, they are leaving no stone unturned to dismantle democracy that India, uh, pre, uh, India has had for 70 years. All right. It was hard okay. for to become struggles. All right. So the opposition continues to accuse uh, the government and the centre, to be specific, of uh, using uh, the agencies to target uh, the opposition parties and their leaders. The BJP denies that. They say that they are just uh, trying to uh, do an operation clean up. Many thanks, Shant Prakash Jadav and Ganshyam Tiwari, both of you, for joining us here on this discussion.